Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service, office out of San Diego. We're here to talk about the first Pacific storm of the season, potentially a cold one with uh, widespread rain, snow, and high winds in the mountains and deserts next week between November 2nd and 4th. Looks to be low to moderate impact, but highest uh, for our mountain areas because of the wind and snow combination. These are the key points, the highlights, the first storm of the season after a long active monsoon, which included tropical weather in early September. Much cooler weather next week, precipitation and high winds in the mountains and deserts. Precipitation could be widespread with the best chances Wednesday through Friday next week, including snowfall in the mountains. Dry weekend, however, so that's good news for Halloween and early next week, uh, as well as mild temperatures with that. The estimated precipitation expected, most of this occurring Wednesday and Thursday of next week, shows widespread across central and southern California with a focus, as you notice here, on San Diego County. The outlook, much below normal temperatures, even after the precipitation across southern California and some lingering precipitation possibly after November 3rd as well as the main storm system moves into the Central Plains. All right, what are we talking about here? The jet stream's gonna carve across the Pacific Northwest on Monday, Halloween, still well north of us. By Tuesday, it'll be pressing towards LA, the red line there. Need to be in that red line to get significant rain and snow. As we go, Deeper into the week, Wednesday, and especially Wednesday afternoon into Thursday, the cold chunk of air drops into Southern California. The main jet stream, as shown in red, dips across Southern California on Wednesday and even Northern Mexico on Thursday. So a lot of cold air potential, high winds out ahead of it for the mountains and deserts, and widespread rain. Notice the system dives into Southern California rather than moving directly to the east. It doesn't break away or cut off, but it closes off and slows down to Southern California. If that does happen, showers will certainly linger all the way through Thursday, possibly into early Friday. When we look at how unusual it is, we should get a storm in early November, but it is colder than our typical storm as shown here next week, Wednesday and Thursday. It's not an atmospheric river of significance, but it does have atmospheric river moisture. That's high winds and tropical moisture transport for a brief period with the frontal passage that comes through sometime on November 2nd. We look at the wind potential and there's quite a bit of confidence with that. Southwest winds, onshore moist winds, so the impact for our mountains, deserts, and Great Basin looks significant as it's a little bit unusual or stronger than average type of storm. The precipitation potential you're probably most interested in, a lot of uncertainty uh, for rainfall starting late on the 2nd, uh, rolling all the way through the 3rd and possibly into the 4th of November. So what this shows is quite a variability or range in precipitation potential for San Diego. Okay, I mentioned the cool weather. Wednesday could be the coolest day, uh, rolling into Thursday. So Wednesday with the rain and then the lowering snow levels Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Pretty cold as we start Thursday, potentially next week. These temperatures would be below averages. The rain and snowfall potential, this is just initial, but it looks like rain could be widespread. This type of pattern and we've seen this pattern many times over the past several years of the drought pattern, uh, it does favor San Diego County and our mountains from Big Bear southward. We are looking at potential for a few inches of snow, uh, especially about 5,000 feet, uh, with the biggest accumulations in the mountain communities up around six, 7,000 feet. A quick summary, again, the first Pacific storm of the season following the two Santa winds that we had earlier. Strong onshore flow, not Santa Ana winds, but onshore, southwest to west winds for the mountains and deserts especially, starting as early as Tuesday and may linger into Thursday, though they should decrease significantly on Thursday. The Pacific storm is cold, 
So it'll also slow down, bringing a chunk of cold air right over us, pretty much the opposite of a heat wave uh, for Southern California Tuesday through Thursday. Potential for snow above 5,000 feet. Uh, could see some snowflakes down to 4,000 feet. Widespread rain uh, with locally embedded heavier showers or even an isolated thunderstorm. So a lot of this does depend on the storm directly moving across Southern California, but that's how it looks right now um, in the projections for next week. A lot will change from now to then, so stay tuned, check back in, look us up on weather.gov San Diego or our social media. Thanks everyone.